Hey guys, welcome to our 18th lesson of our certification training for the exam MO300, so Microsoft Office Specialist PowerPoint Associate 2019. And before we start, I'd like to ask you to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new certification training material. And without further ado, let's begin with today's lesson. And our objective for today is to revise how to use 3D models, okay? So we have to learn insert and modify 3D models, insert and modify. Let's begin by inserting. We have to go to the insert tab and under illustrations you have the option to insert 3D models. You can use either stock 3D models, some of them are provided with your Office 365 and they are very nice, or you can use some default or custom-made models that you have on your device. Let's choose this device. And we have here several 3D models available. So let's for example choose this keychain 3D model. Perfect. That is how we inserted a 3D model. And as you can see when I click here and drag I can move the position of my 3D model and change the rotation angle and so on. Okay, but for the MOS exam you perhaps want to know how to adjust these things more precisely. So now let's modify our 3D model. We have to go to the 3D model context tab and you have several positions available here. These are also common for the most exams, so be comfortable with looking and finding the described positions, like below, front... Okay, so what we've got here, for example, above, left, and so on. Next up, we have some options that are common for objects, so we can send the objects backward or bring them forward. We can choose exact height and width. And for more options you can click this arrow and choose exact um, sizing options like that height, width, rotation, scale, height, scale, width. Notice the log aspect ratio which is quite important. And f as for 3D models specifically you might go to the 3D model tab and click model rotation and these are also some parameters that you might be required to change on the MOS exam so the exact x-axis rotation, y-axis rotation, z-axis and so on. Also when you are not satisfied with what changes you have done you can always reset your 3D model here and you can see that it was reverted to the default position. You can also add the alternative text to the 3D model and also click pan and zoom, which is an option that enables you to focus on an area of your 3D model. So let's click it for example and you can see that we can increase the zoom and everything what we see as a part of 3D model is only what is in the box. So when we increase the box, the 3D model... In when we increase the size of the box, the 3D model increases its size accordingly, but we can now also decrease the zoom and we can see the entire 3D model. Yeah guys, so that is all concerning inserting and modifying 3D models. It's quite intuitive, there are not a lot of options, on, so don't worry about that, but be sure to practice with finding those views, inserting either from file or from... Uh, or as a stock 3D model, and yeah guys, that's all for today's lesson. I hope you find it useful. If so, smash that like button, please subscribe for more certification training content and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!